take a look at the AI Cloud section. AI Cloud is a system that ASUS gives you to be able to access your files over the internet from your phone. Um, they have an application for Google, Google, Android, and Apple I, iPad and um, iPhones. Right here they have the suggestions for how fast your internet connection needs to be to be able to do certain things. I mean, most people are not going to have enough bandwidth to stream video in 1080p, but ah, 720p or standard def, a lot of people have that kind of bandwidth um, to be able to do that type of thing so they can store stuff on their hard drive at home and then stream it over a network connection to wherever they are. Cloud Disk gives you the ability to create a drive that you can access over the internet. First you have to install USB storage, which I've already done here. Then you toggle on Cloud Disk and you have to accept the terms. Once you've done that, you can access the cloud from within your network at asusnetwork.net or you can register for ASUS's own DDNS server, which gives you access to the cloud disk from a URL that you choose. So you would click that link and enable the DDNS client. Choose ASUS.com or one of the other services that are available and put in your host name. So I'm going to put in Tech Legion, and as long as it's available, it will give me that address to be able to access my network from outside because most people have a dynamic IP address that changes every once in a while. So now we could go to hightechlegion.asuscom.com and access, access the drive that's on the system. Access the router itself from here. So once we've clicked apply it'll come back and say registration successful and it tells you here that you can access um, the network if you want to access the router remotely you can click on uh, this link here though we're locally so we don't need to do that. If we go back to the AI cloud now we can actually see that this is toggled on and we have an address here. If we click this address we get a security certificate page because there's no security certificate for it and we're accessing it securely. We get the AI cloud page and we can log into the router with the login credentials and actually access that volume that's plugged in. We can click on pictures for example and just open them right from here which is nice so if you're on a trip or something you'll be able you could be able to pull up your phone and access pictures at home to show your family or your business partners or whatever you may need to do this or you can put videos on here or music on here it's a very powerful feature and I'll show you the app for the phone a little later on two other features under the AI cloud section is smart access if we turn that on it'll actually pull information from the system and um, put that into the router so you'll be able to use the user accounts and share folders that are there. It also has a wake on land feature which if it's enabled on your device you'd be able to actually turn your device on remotely if it's powered off. You also have SmartSync and SmartSync 
is a tool that ASUS provides with a web storage account. So you would sign up for a web storage account, turn on the cloud disk, which we've already done, and then it'll sync anything on that cloud disk with the ASUS web storage account. Under the settings, you can set a lockout on the account to protect it from brute force attacks. You also have a log file of everything that happens. And under Smart Sync, you, once you add the storage account, you can set it to sync to copy everything from the USB store to the cloud or copy everything from the cloud to the USB storage. Here we have the AI Cloud app for Android that can be used together with the AI Cloud function on the ASUS router. When you, you first thing you need to do is you go to the Google Play Store or you go to the Apple App Store to download AI Cloud. And you just do a search for it and then once you run it you can connect into your router and it also shows your local network if you're connected to it. That, so you can tap into those PCs you can put shortcuts to specific folders in here as well as change the settings on the router from here filter out certain things and also set up the settings when you first set this up you first run it it asks you for the credentials for your router and you just type them in and it connects up right away there's no major setup to be done with this at all other than turning it on on the router itself. I hope you enjoyed the video overview of the RTN66U router from ASUS. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages and check out the full review as well as others at www.hitechlegion.com.